Before I was saved and had a Christian life, I was living with my boyfriend in sin, getting high every day, depressed, angry, and always arguing, fighting with everyone, trying to defend my sin-filled life. I knew this life was wrong and headed for disaster, but I continued to live it anyway because it was easier. Also, at that point in my life, my only fear was losing my boyfriend. I always put him first before everything and everyone, including myself. I had brought myself down so low, only thinking it would make him love me more. After wasting so many years trying to do things my way and seeing where that was headed, I finally decided I wanted more. I moved back home with my family, agreeing to one rule that my father had, that I had to come to church every Sunday. And not any church, it had to be this church. <laughs> After seeing these women of God here and the joy they had because of Christ in their lives, I knew I wanted that for myself. I then realized I didn't need to bring myself down or change who I was just for someone to love me, that Jesus would love me just the way I was. Then I decided to ask him into my heart and accept him as my Lord and Savior. I now want to live my life for Christ, and even though my life is far from perfect, and I have lots of things I still need to work on, I have faith. That is something I didn't have before. My faith in him lets me know that if I fall down or mess up, it's okay, because he will forgive me for my mistakes. I also have faith that he has a great plan for my life, and that if I continue to seek him and get to know him more, I will get to know what his plan is for me. Do you believe in uh, Jesus Christ's life, death, and resurrection? Yes. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior? Yes. Do you understand that in baptism you're identifying yourself with, with Christ's life, death, resurrection, and now becoming a part of his bride, the church? Yes. Do you commit to follow him all the days of your life? Yes. Not only as your Savior, but as your Lord? Yes. Okay. Turn around. Cross your arms. Then in the name of Jesus Christ, on behalf of the church, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father God, I come before you for Joya here, Lord, as she has um, proclaimed you today as her Lord and Savior. And her out, out, outmost uh, testimony here is baptism, Lord. Lord, I just, I just pray for a blessing over her for the rest of her life, Lord, and you would guide her feet as she goes about her life. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.